Introduced into service at the start of World War II, the consolidated B-24 Liberator was famously flown by Jimmy Stewart. Young men of America, your future's in the sky. And famously crewed by Louis Zamperini. And with nearly 18,500 built, it still holds the distinction of being the most produced heavy bomber in history. A workhorse of the U.S. Army Air Corps during World War II, the B-24 Liberator had a larger payload, a longer effective range, and a faster top speed than every other heavy bomber of the era. As a result, B-24s deployed into combat in every theater of operations. Flying alongside the Boeing B-17, B-24s in Europe played a critical role in the American strategic bombing campaign, dropping hundreds of thousands of bombs on German military and industrial sites throughout the course of the war. On August 1st, 1943, in what would perhaps become their most famous mission of all time, 177 B-24 Liberators conducted a high-risk, low-level raid against well-defended German-held oil fields near Ploesti, Romania. One of the most costly air operations of the entire war, the 2,000-mile round-trip raid resulted in the loss of more than 50 aircraft and only negligible damage to the oil fields. In the Pacific, where longer distances to target were the norm, the B-24's 3,200-mile range made it ideally suited to the island hopping campaign. Gradually replacing the B-17 as the bomber of choice, B-24s conducted missions in support of almost every island invasion. But despite its distinguished war record, the B-24 Liberator was decidedly unpopular with pilots and crewmen who claimed it was more difficult to fly and far less survivable when forced to crash than the more rugged B-17 Flying Fortress. Because of this and other factors, the U.S. military retired the aircraft at the end of World War II. But while it would never go on to see service in another war, no one can doubt the impact of the B-24 and its role in liberating the world. <laughs>